So recently I've been checking out a lot of Polish music along with some snacks and a whole mess of other things. As a matter of fact, I've even tried learning Polish in the past, but it is absolutely so difficult that I decided today to reach out to my friend Aleksandra all the way from Poland so she could help me out to learn a little bit of this complicated language. Besides a little bit of curse words and yakshimash, I don't know much else. So let's see how this turns out. Hi, what's up Aleksandra? Uh, well, it's pretty dark here, other than that, <laughs> so much, I don't know what to say. Very excited for the lesson today and thank you so much for actually like helping me out with this. No problem, I'm like always happy to help because I like, I have a thing for languages, so yeah. yeah. This is pretty cool, I'm very very excited. So you're fluent 100%, you were born in what part of Poland? I'm from Toruń, so pretty central, I would say. So. so I wanted to see if you could teach me a few words. I wanted to try to take a guess as to what they are and then correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see how, how accurately I could guess this. Okay, I have like a list of very random words that I should like think of. I was thinking like different categories. Uh -huh. So my first one is Purnik. Purnik, Purnik. I feel like that has something to do with like the coast, like almost like a pier. But that might just no. be because of the beginning. Nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing. It's a pencil case. Uh, next one is Ogurek. Ogurek. Agurek. Yeah? Agurek. Oh my lord, I have no idea where to go with this one. Agurek. I'm gonna say that's an avocado. Nope, that's a cucumber. That's a cucumber. Very far off from what I would imagine. So let's <clears throat> let, okay, let's see let's see the next one. Let's see if they get easier. Do they get easier? Next one is Tsukernia. 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 Wow, Tsukernia. I feel like there's two ends somewhere there. Like two ends? Nope. No. Actually not. No? There's only I think I I can think of only two words in Polish language that have like double N. Really? Holy crap. So it's yeah. not is that like it's a rare occurrence. Yeah. Okay. Wow, super, yeah. Um, wow, I'm like legit trying to figure this one out. Uh, this one sounds like uh, like a screwdriver. Nope. No? <laughs> Nowhere near? Not close. I can tell you that it's a place, I would say. Like somewhere you can go. It's like bakery slash like confectioner's store or whatever you call those. Like basically like a place that sells cakes and stuff. And, like, oh, like a bakery. I mean, like, it's usually just like a place uh, that doesn't really have bread or stuff like that. They like mostly have like cakes or like Danish or whatever, stuff like that, I would say. And like, you have also Piekarnia would be a place that's like, I would say, like the closest to bakery because it's like mostly bread then. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. So Piekarnia is mainly that is closest to a bakery, but this one is something completely different. So what's next? Zdeskvalifikovac. <laughs> <laughs> is that one single word or a sentence? It's one single word. I was trying to like come up with something that's kind of long, so... Well, you have succeeded, I'm just saying. <laughs> Can you break it down for me, please? Zdeskvalifikovac. Zdeskvalifikovac. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty close. Zdeskvalifikovac. Zdeskvalifikovac. Yes. Oh, yes. okay, that sounds pretty... That sounds like disqualified. Yeah, it is actually. Yes! I love it! Okay, this kind of Kovac. That is awesome! Holy crap, I actually got something. Right. Okay, so uh, second to last is Yezidic. Yedidic? Yezidic. Yedidic. The Yedidic. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to grab that one. It's a verb, I can say. A verb. I'm gonna I'm gonna go as, I'm gonna go as far as saying that that's running. No. No. But sort of like in the right theme, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like I'm not gonna get this. My last and final guess. It's probably gonna be walking in that case. Nope. nope. It's driving slash riding. Oh. So you could use that word whether you're driving a car or you're riding a bicycle. Yeah. Okay. You could. Or like a horse or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Pretty intense. I like it. And you, did you have any other words for me? I have one more, and that one is collectioner. Collectioner. Okay, that that one. If, that one. If I don't like, mm, come on. I think you should get that one. Collectioner. That is either a collection or a collector. One of those two. It's collector. Collector. It collector. Collectioner. Collectioner. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so you know what? So I, I think I could actually pick up a few words. Like if I heard someone speaking Polish, I feel like I might be able to pick up one out of every 300 words. Okay. Pretty good. <laughs> now that I've gotten some, uh, now that I know how to ask for a cucumber, how do I first say, hi, how are you? Is it even common to ask people, how are you in Poland? Not strangers, but no. like, yeah. So if I go to the grocery <laughs> store and I, and I speak to the person at the counter, it's not normal for me to ask, how are you? It's just kind of weird. No, it's just, Hi, and then when you're leaving, maybe have a nice day, but not even necessarily that. Really? Okay. You see, here in the States, like, we have, like, if it's, it's almost rude. It is really rude. Like, if you don't hold a little bit of a small conversation, like, you have to ask, hey, how are you? And usually by the time you're saying, how are you? You're already way past each other, way past each other. So if you answer, the other person turn or, like, turns around and they look at you all weird. It's pretty odd. So how do I say, hi, my name is Brian? Cześć, mam na imię Brian. Cześć, my name is Brian. Mam na imię. Mam na imię. Mam na imię. Mam na imię. This is the first time I'm having such a difficult time just saying, Hi, my name is Brian. You should try Finnish. I tried to learn how to say that in Finnish and that was impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Finland is a whole new category. Let me just say that much. Okay, so, um, so how was it? Uh, Cześć, mam na imię Brian. Cześć. My name is Brian. I think people would understand that. Yeah, they're gonna know I'm foreign. They're gonna be like, we gotta rob this kid in the moment he exits. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. Pretty much impossible to speak Polish in a way that no one like catches a hint that you're not from Poland. Oh right. So so now that I said hi, my name is Brian. How do I say have a good afternoon or whatever? Yeah, I'm trying to like think. What the hell do we say in Polish? Dzień dobry. Dzień 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 dobry. Yeah. That was pretty good. Jean Dobre. Okay. I'm doing pretty bad, aren't I? <laughs> it's fine. I would say above average, actually, because I think Polish is really difficult and most people are terrible at pronouncing. I think you're, you're doing a pretty good job. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. If you guys think I'm doing a pretty good job, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Just saying. So we got that down. So now that, now that I've learned how to say my name, and how to say good day. How do I, uh, like, what are like what are some common phrases? Like someone, I want to give someone a piece of advice, even though I'm not Polish. I want to say some piece of advice. What are some common sayings in Polish? Uh, more or less common. I heard it a lot as a kid. And is Czego ja się nie nauczy, tego ja nie będzie umiał. Which basically means that uh, if you don't learn something at a young age, then, well, you obviously won't be able to do that thing when you're an adult. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, uh, kind, kind of also like saying uh, practice makes perfect to an extent. Yeah, more or less. Okay. That's but it's kind cool. of like just like when your kid doesn't want to do math, you just kind of tell them that and, uh, well, they won't be able to do taxes if they don't learn like basic multiplication as a kid. As a, isn't that true? That is that is 100% true. So, guys, do your taxes, start studying, do your math. I actually dropped out of college twice because of math. I, I feel bad saying that online, but if my teachers are watching this, hi. <laughs> so that's actually pretty useful. I guess I could see how people could integrate that and give that advice to other people. The uh, last one I have is uh, wyjątek potwierdza regułę. So the exception confirms the rule. So that probably sounds like that it, that it makes no sense at all to you, but uh, I think most Polish people, even though they use that a lot, they don't understand what it actually means. Uh -huh. And uh, it basically means that if there is an exception, that's basically a proof that there is a rule. Because if there was no rule, there couldn't be oh, an exception. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's confirming something by, by there being wrong. It's confirming that there is a right. Okay. Wow, that is... Yeah. I love that. I love that. And so, have you ever heard that translated in English? Like, like, is there actually something like that in English or no? I don't think I ever seen that. I just only heard it in Polish a lot and mostly with people like being, being like, Oh my God, but there is an exception. How can there be a rule? I mean, like... <laughs> That, that, like, you know what? I actually like that. That's really, really cool. Okay, so, but now, how do I properly pronounce it? That's the real question. Beyontek. Beyontek. Potwierdza. Popierda. Regue. Regue. That's it? Three yeah, words? Yeah, just three words. Yeah, it sounded like a yeah, full freaking sentence. <laughs> well, you said it. It sounded like this whole massive thing, but it's only three words. That's um, pretty great. Yeah. All right. So we got that. 
So now, now that we've got in some of the more simple stuff, let's really just explode my brain. Let's make, let's make my, my brain splatter all the way over there. That'd be uh, interesting. Let's try some tongue twisters. Okay, the first one is uh, the most common one probably, and that's two spopewane no gami. That's three words more or less, or like two words with a connection between them. <laughs> I'm already busting my brain. It sounds like a lot of W's, a lot of W's and a lot of V's. Stu's funny, many, 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 many. I cannot. I have no idea where to put the emphasis or where not to. Stu's. Yeah, it's pretty hard and probably not something you say a lot actually. And it just means uh, a table with broken out legs. That sounds pretty useless. I mean, the, the leg, like the table, <laughs> not the actual yeah. saying. <laughs> and like the actual tank twister, it's not really something you run into very often. <laughs> okay, I see it. Well, I tried it out. Clearly that did not work out. But thank you, I really do appreciate that. Like, honestly, like you're absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for helping me out with Polish. Like, this was intense. Is there anything you want to say in Polish to, uh, to the viewers? Such as, like, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, how the hell do you say that in Polish? I don't really watch YouTube in Polish, so I'm not sure what uh, people say, but I will guess... Nie zapomnijcie zasubskrybować? Yeah? I don't know. So that's the closest thing we got to subscribe in Polish, so if you didn't understand it in Polish, I'll say it once more in English. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos just like this one, and we got some other amazing things where I cover the Polish music, the Polish food and snacks and all sorts of things in between. Some of them will be linked down below and others at the end of this video. Guys, don't forget, I do have a P.O. box right over here in case you want to send over all sorts of snacks, candies, postcards, which I collect, just saying. It would be absolutely amazing if you send something over. Please just let me know on Instagram. I would love to personally thank you. But anyways, my friends, it's Dosi Bacenia, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye!